Welcome classic rock fans to another unboxing and today we're looking at the new four disc version of Fleetwood Mac's Rumours. This of course was released uh, not so long ago as a deluxe box with vinyl and, not, and um, lots of other bits and pieces in there. This is just a kind of a slimmed down version of that. But uh, I didn't actually have a copy of this album, this seems like um, a great opportunity to acquire it. Uh, I have to, a big call out has to go to Kyle at Track by Track who alerted me, uh, alerted me to this being released. I don't know if you've checked out his channel, but he seems to have the jump on all of us in terms of release dates and what is actually being released. I think he has communications from the mothership or something, uh, um, or a crystal ball or something like that. But I will put a link down below to his channel. Do check him out. Anyway, Fleetwood Mac Rumours new 4CD version. So with no further ado, let's take off the cellophane and uh, open it up and see what we get with this. Uh, nice faithfully produced artwork of course. I, I did imagine this would be bigger. I thought it would be like a, um, a sort of A5 size box but it, it isn't. It's quite compact in many respects. Um, so obviously you get the very faithfully produced uh, artwork of the, the iconic sleeve. We open that up to uh, a very li a live image of course for, uh, which I presume is from the sort of rumours tour. Uh, judging by Lindsay Buckingham's hair, I guess it must be. And my my word, it opens up even further. Look at that! Isn't that marvellous? Isn't that fabulous? That lovely sort of panoramic view. In a tense situation where so much could have gone wrong, how did so much go right? Um, oh, it opens up even further. Look at that. Even more so, you get this wonderful sort of. Uh, I have to pull that across now. I need a, you need a, a wide-angle lens for this. I'll I'll draw it across so you can get the full measure of it. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? And of course, these little uh, these little pockets here, no doubt, contain the the discs. That's uh, disc one, which of course is the uh, original album. Rather grainy artwork on the uh, disc. It makes it look like a bootleg, really. That's um, just two. Well, then we can... Finally, disc four. Which again, all sort of pictures from the sort of rumours sessions. So I'm recording this album. And then I presume we're going to get a booklet, which I hope is going to be packed with sort of information and sort of details. Not that we haven't been sort of uh, inundated with sort of documentaries and things on this album. Let's open this up. Uh, I love them to, to put lots of information in there, lots of uh, details, as I've said. It's, it's my bugbear with the Grateful Dead remasters that there's just not enough text. Isn't that great? that slots nicely back in there. Let's look at the, some of the tracks that are actually on this. Okay, so uh, disc one is the original album and disc two is the Rumours World Tour which includes intro, Monday morning, dreams, don't stop the chain, oh daddy, Ryan and never going back again, gold dust woman, world turning, go your own way and songbird. Disc three is more from the recording sessions, secondhand news, early take, dreams, uh, go your own with Songbird, couple of takes of Songbird, I Don't Want to Know, Keep Me There, Instrumental, The Chain Demo, which is going to make for interesting listening, because I absolutely think that track is awesome. Great if you get to ever get to see them do it live. 
Gold Dust Woman, Early Take, uh, Keep Me There, Oh Daddy, Early Take, Silver Springs, Planets of the Universe, Demo, Doesn't Anything Last, Acoustic Duo, Never, go, never Going Back Again, Instrumental. Uh, and then Disc 4, of course, is Recording Sessions and Rough, rough Outtakes, Secondhand News, Dreams, Brushes, uh, Never Going Back Again, Don't Stop, Go Your Own Way, Songbird, Silver Springs, You Make Loving Fun, Gold Dust Woman, Oh Daddy, Think About It. Early demos, never going back again. Plants of the universe, butter cookie, keep me there. Gold dust woman, doesn't anything last? And jam sessions, uh, Mike the screecher, and for Duster the blues. So that's the front cover, of course. That's the spine and the back. So if you do not have a copy of this album, I would uh, highly recommend this one on just opening up and looking at it. I've not listened to it yet really, so I couldn't comment on what it actually sounds like, but I imagine it's been remastered to the hilt and probably sounds absolutely fabulous. Anyway, you've been watching another unboxing. Uh, please click like, subscribe, share this video, but more importantly, please do keep listening.